Hey, I'm uh, GXX Shock, and I'm here with Lucifron and Vortex from Team Liquid. And um, fortunately, they're already out for the uh, Road to BlizzCon. But um, how are you guys uh, enjoying the tournament, uh, even though you're kind of uh, on the sidelines? Yeah, so besides the disqualification, which of course is very disappointing, uh, the event is really nice. Um, overall, we're having a good time, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the event seems cool, so yeah, just trying to enjoy the rest of the games and we'll try to do better in the next tournament, I guess. Okay, um, what are your plans uh, for the more well, close future? I mean, um, majors, uh, any other tournaments that you guys are planning to um, participate in? or? Yeah, so we qualified for WCA, uh, the Grand Finals on China, that's in December, I think, like mid-December or something. Besides that, I think there's nothing on the schedule at the moment, so I guess just play online tournaments or whatever. Yeah, but that's the main thing right now for us. Okay. And um, lately, um, you've c you guys actually played pretty well, but what, what went wrong at this tournament? I mean, uh, was it maybe nerfs getting to you, or uh, what was the issue here? Yeah, so lately we've, well, we've been struggling a lot against Dignitas, uh, so they beat us twice in the Enter the Storm Cup. In scrims, they win a lot, like 70% of the games, maybe, or something like that. And we just lost to them, uh, like the two best of threes today. So I don't know, I guess they just, they have the lead against us, and it's very hard for us to play against them. So yeah, that was it. And um, you were one of the strongest teams in uh, the beginning of the EU, EU meta. Uh, what changed that you kind of fell off that very top spot? I'm not sure. I think uh, it's just uh, teams keep evolving, players keep evolving. Every patch is like a different game. Every big patch, like it, they change almost the whole meta. I think the double tank meta didn't fit us really well. And I mean, I even though we are still doing okay, I think yeah, like we are no longer like clear top one. So, and actually the group here was really hard. So I don't know. It's and there are teams that are on our level or even a bit better right now. So yeah. Do you guys have anything planned like? Uh, not going into specific strategies, of course, but something like um, a meta change that you're thinking about, um, something that can maybe get you back to the top. So, well, we haven't been able to play that much on the PTR because of this tournament, so we haven't really tried that much. But just seeing the pass notes, I think the meta will change a lot. Like some warriors that haven't been played too much, like ETC, Chen, or Stitches, uh, I guess now they are going to be good. So I guess the meta will change a lot in the next week. Uh, what do you think about the PDR changes? Um, like, there are changes planned for uh, the scaling and, of course, also the death timers. Uh, I mean, you already said this is going to affect the game pretty much uh, by a whole lot. might change a lot of things around. Uh, do you think a PDR is the right way to do this? Or um, do you propose any, uh, like, a different idea to change this up? I think that the death timers might be, l like, a bit too much. Like, I think right now, if you manage to kill, like, to get like two or three kills early game, it's already quite determining. So if the death timer is even bigger, I don't know. I think I it might be too much. Like it might help more to the snowball stuff and so on. So I'm not really sure about that change. I really like the changes to heroes and stuff. Like some champions that are really cool, like Stitches and Chen are getting back and that's okay. But yeah, I don't really like the death timer changes, but I haven't tried too much, so I don't know. And uh, talking about PTR in general, do you guys usually play on there? Like, if it's available, do you check it out? Or is it like um, kind of on the side, like in StarCraft 2, a lot of people never really tried uh, the test maps? So if, if you have a tournament coming in the old patch, then you just play the old patch, and if you don't, then you play the, P the PTR. Okay. So you really play it a lot if it's available and you do have the time. Yeah, if you don't have a tournament, then it's like it's kind of a waste to play in the old patch because you are not going to a tournament in that part so yeah just just play the ptr and start practicing the new meta um and i also have some general questions uh, about the game do you guys feel that heroes that are not played right now should somehow be changed uh, pretty drastically to force them to be played or b force them back into the meta yeah i think like some reworks to champions that are currently like kind of bad like for example gaslowy i think it could be funny to have him in in the meta, like in some way, or champs like Murky or Thrall. I mean, I think it would be really cool if all the champions were viable in high level play. So yeah, I think they should definitely like rework some champs that have been out of the meta for a while now. Like if they do a patch and one champion just fails off the meta and 
is bad, that, that's okay. But if one champion has been bad for a year or so, I think it's time to do something with him. Yep. And uh, talking about viability, uh, what do you think about the talents or the talent system in general? I mean, it seems like some champions have a decent variety to them, while um, others, the talents are just, you stick to one, one talent tier and then you follow that line all the way through, no matter what, in every game. Yeah, it's cool. Like some champions have a lot of possible builds, or yeah, for instance, Bala I think has like three builds and so on. So on. for some for some champions it's great, but for other champions it's always the same. So yeah, I don't know. They have to work around, but I think eventually it's pretty hard to have a lot of viable talents for all the champions. I don't. Th I'm not sure if they can make that happen. Okay, so it m was maybe a little bit uh, like a really anxious idea, um, maybe going a little bit over the top there. Um, what do you think about the hero scene in general, the esports scene? Um, do you think it's finally come to a stable point, or uh, is it still very volatile, like in the beginning? I mean, I think it's grown a bit, and I'm pretty sure like the whole road to BlizzCon and stuff is gonna make it much bigger. Like I think Blizzard is probably on their way to you know making it a big game and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I think right now the hero scene doesn't seem too big at least in Europe, but I think it's just a matter of time. Like, I think the, the game is pretty cool, and I think actually, like, yeah, Blizzard is doing a good job making it big, so I think eventually it will be pretty cool. Um, well, talking about, uh, like, the viability of esports in general, or Heroes esports, do you, are you guys all in, or do you have something planned if, uh, if this fails, or um, do you have some kind of an exit strategy, so to say? Out of heroes, you mean, or uh, out of heroes, out of esports, um, or are you guys all in? No, well, I'm missing uh, like my last year from my to finish my degree, like computer science degree. So I will be playing heroes at the very least till January or February, and then I will see. Maybe uh, I continue playing. Maybe I finish my degree. Uh, so yeah, I have plenty of options right now. Okay. Overwatch man. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's a good answer. So always, you're always gonna stay in esports. No matter what. Um, talking about a little bit about map design, uh, are you guys uh, happy with the current map, the current map pool, or um, are there any changes you'd like to see to the system? Um, I don't know. Like last map, the really new map, I, I'm not too big of a fan of it. But overall, the map seems fine. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like Infernal Shrines, Haunted Mines, I don't really like them. But other maps are really cool. So I don't know. I guess. As long as you have a lot of variety, I guess it should be fine. Like you can always ban the maps you don't like or whatever. Oh yeah. So talking about bans, uh, of course you do want them as the map pool grows. Um, like, in, do you want them for regular play as well? Mm, no, I, I think uh, like for ladder and hero league, I guess all maps should be played like just random or whatever. Okay. Do you prefer bigger or smaller maps? Maps with two lanes or three lanes? I think three lanes maps tends to be better. One thing I don't like about the latest maps is that the way the objectives work, you either get it all on you or you don't get anything. Like you, for example, on the last map, you win the shrine and then you get the boss, but the other team doesn't get anything. It's not like Garden where you can just kind of split and try, even though the other team has maybe uh, a better outcome, like maybe they get double plan or so, maybe you can get your own one and stuff. I think it's really good that even if you end up losing the objective, you get something out of it, and it's not one thing that gets it all. I think that's really bad. Okay, so snowballing uh, is still an issue for you? Yeah, I mean, I think the the snowballing in Heroes of the Storm I mean, is, is not that big, actually. Like, there's a point where r you reach level 20, where if you win a team fight, you can just win a game, even if you have been losing all the game. But yeah, there's, I mean, getting like four or five kills early game is uh, something like, I mean, if, if you die like five times and you don't kill anyone, it's really hard to to really manage to turn around the game. And I think that's quite bad. Um, and do you think that pros can right now differentiate themselves from not casual players, but really good players in Heroes? Or should there be more mechanical skill involved um, for some of these heroes? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Like, I see some players in Hero League that I think this guy is as good as me. Like, I don't do anything particularly better than him. So I guess like a lot of people that are in the pro scene is just because 
we've been playing since the beginning and we made the teams and we started playing the tournaments. But I feel that there's a lot of people with the necessary skill to play in pro level that just don't because they don't have a team. Okay, so it all comes down to team communication, teamwork, and um, yeah, playing as a team, playing as a unit, right? Uh, I mean, that's important, but that's not exactly what I mean. Like, I think some people have what it takes to be pro, but they just, they are not in the pro scene just because they came late to the scene and, and the teams have already been made. But eventually, in a few months, I think these people will make teams by themselves. And then I think, like, individual skill will take a, a huge role there. So, like, I mean, team, teamwork is important, but individual skill is as well. All right. Um, so I think that's going to conclude our interview here. Um, do you guys have any shout-outs, fans, family, uh, and sponsors? Yeah, well, of course, shout-outs yeah, to our fans, <laughs> our family, our friends, and our, our sponsors, of course. I took that away. <laughs> All right, thanks for the interview.